Hey guys, what is going on? So I have been doing my push pull hypertrophy base workout and it's actually been going quite well. So my wide grip bench press three by 12 has gotten all the way up to 250, which is the maximum amount of weight that I actually have with me. So I thought maybe this was the time to switch up my workout a bit. I got to 250 a lot faster than I thought I would. So I was thinking of ways that I could challenge my chest without doing, you know, anything higher than 312 or 3 by 12 just because I don't want to buy more weights right now, but I still want a challenging chest workout. So I think the main thing with me in terms of where my sticking points are, I generally will either fail it, you know, kind of just off the chest or a little bit higher, which generally means that my power out of the bottom of the bench press is limited, which is most centered around the chest as opposed to the tricep. So I've known this for a while. I wanted my chest um, to increase in size for this reason. And while my triceps, I think, are kind of lagging a bit as well in terms of other parts of my physique, from a strength perspective, I think my triceps are stronger than my chest. And so that's kind of my main focus. Now, that is kind of why I have been centering my workout around my chest or at least my wide grip bench press first. So I try and do my most important exercise first. And so I would do my wide grip bench press followed by close grip, followed by overhead press. Considering overhead press, I was already pretty strong at, and I thought my triceps were pretty strong, but I wanted to continue to work those as I was bringing my chest up. But I noticed that A, my shoulder pain, that kind of was a product of me having stronger shoulders when I was younger started to come back. And B, I'm kind of half repping both my wide grip and my close grip bench press, which in terms of close grip, I think is totally fine because the range of motion is pretty low anyway. And I'm mostly focused on, again, getting off my chest and getting that speed. Um, locking out is not my biggest concern when it comes to wide grip, but with close grip, locking out is the most important aspect of it because locking out is the tricep centered portion of the lift. So I kind of was thinking, hey, okay, my chest workout, basically the weight that I had wasn't challenging enough. So I needed a new way to work out without exceeding kind of that eight to 12 rep range that I'm kind of trying to go in. And I figured incline press would be a good option there. So I'm transitioning my wide grip to incline and I'm doing, you know, wide grip incline able to use a lot less weight on that. So I'm starting off at just 185, which is what I did today. Um, and then I also am eliminating overhead press for the time being, just because I feel my shoulders are overpowering my workout. And then I thought, hey, you know, my triceps, if I'm doing close grip bench, I'm kind of just like sick of the movement and I already am used to kind of half repping my reps with my chest oriented lift. So I thought I would do a different type of lift to focus on my triceps and I got dip attachments. So I'm going to be doing dips to focus on my triceps. So that is what my workout was today. Now I actually did do two workouts today. One was when I got my 253 by 12, um, which I'll show you. And then the next one was me kind of experimenting with incline and dips. So the second workout was not very, um, very difficult. It was more just experimental to see what my workouts will be um, in the coming weeks. But the earlier workout today is what I'm going to show you first, and then I'm going to do the second workout. And basically, I just want to say, yes, the limited range of motion is obvious, but again, I'm changing it up. And I'm going to continue doing limited range of motion with my, you know, wide grip bench just because I'm more focused on getting off the chest and getting chest activation. But I'm going to try and not have such a limited range of motion, but I'll show you those workouts now.